Five inch floppy? Oh, it's the really old floppy. Yeah. The actual floppy disks. They were floppy. So yeah, investigate the disk again. Even back then, nobody used five five inch floppies. I guess the capsule. Yeah, that's true. What kind of medicine is this? They used three and a quarter. Perform an analysis. I guess you can also look at the disc. Acid inhibitors, membrane protecting agents, H2 blockers. This is medication for an ulcer. Huh. Jeez. It looks like John's stomach was really in terrible shape. What was he doing eating buffalo? That seems a little unusual. Perhaps there was some reason that he had to eat buffalo. Alright, so yeah, now look at the capsule and look at the disc. For a PC, related to his investigation. Storing, yay! And the disc. Or the capsule, I'm sorry. Stoic meds. Let's keep them. Oh no, okay, we don't even need to keep them. Thanks, Metal Gear. <laughs> Move. Um, yeah, go to the front. The front desk with, uh, Mika. So ask her about the restaurant. Yeah, ask her about the restaurant. Or Buffalo, excuse me. Yeah. I'm probably able to do later. A buffalo? I don't even know what place to serve that. Alright, so Napoleon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Chinese informant John was using, yeah. It's known ever since he was a science cop. Yeah, now ask about both things again. Oh, that's right. That informant that John was using might know something. Who? Napoleon? Yeah, you're right. He may know. Alright, now I'll ask about Napoleon again. Well, I've heard about him, but I've never met him. Why don't you arrange to meet him? He may know something. Alright, and now, what does do something? Oh god, no. Persuade? God damn it, Kojima. I'll Don't worry, them. I'm gonna destroy all the Snatchers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I believe you, Killian. And just to see that? Yes, period, yes. I believe you. Smell. It's a really great scent. You keep this up. I just like you immensely. <laughs> Thanks, Metal Gear. <laughs> Are you leaving the direction already? Ugh. That's great. Persuade. Yeah. So how about a date tonight? Yeah, I, I don't think I know it. Aw, oh, come on, doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> there's a certain order which we're supposed to have it. Wow. <laughs> you really got a short temper. What? Try it again. Uh, listen, Gillian. Do you want me to go out with you, right? Well, yeah. I really like prefer to work hard. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Ooh, Ooh you, you got, got me there. there. <laughs> That's great. Try console one more time. <laughs> You're only consoling her because I you don't like her. I promise you all facial gifts have started. You're really a sweet guy, aren't you, Gillian? Period. Like, she's clearly not into this. That's great. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go to the computer room now. Whoa, 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 fuck. Call, call, call the vid phone this. Actually, wait. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. You already said no. So, yeah, you gotta hit the computer up. You're right. So, we're gonna use Jordan. And we're gonna type in Napoleon. In the slot it goes. Yep. Mm, so ID stuff. file. Nobody knows. Oops. No, ID file, yeah. Yeah. Alright, Napoleon. Leon. Yep. Leon, now! Don't worry, Ashley. I'm coming for you! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Napoleon Bonaparte, of oh, the actual historical figure. Yep. 1769 to 1821. The Little Corporal, Emperor of the French, brilliant military strategist. He deposed the French Directory and proclaimed himself First Council, saying the famous line, The Revolution is Ended. Later, he proclaims himself Emperor. His military and political might gripped continental Europe, but failed to encompass Great Britain. After a disastrous winter campaign in Russia, he was forced to abdicate by a coalition of French marshals. Never try to take over Russia, especially in risk. Oh, God. Having been exiled to the land of Elba, he escaped, briefly regained power, and was ultimately defeated at Waterloo, and exiled for life to the island of St. Helena, ending his final hundred-day reign. His codification of laws, the Napoleonic Code, still forms the basis of French civil law. Hmm. 
I think we found the passwords Napoleon was looking for. He's really trying to play the role. Yep, so call Napoleon up. You were, Jordan. You're awesome. You were totally of service. Alright, Metal Gear. Oops. Oh, yeah, back off. I can't. Uh. Just dial three and. You just, yeah. Are you serious? We'll see. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Mr. Kuchibuchi, I'm now in Honolulu. Please leave a message. What the hell? Wow, that must have been one of the one of the uh, staff members. Staff members? Yeah. Wow. Oh, that was odd. <laughs> That's pretty pretty great. We didn't that plan was on that guy. At all? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Are you serious? Thirty nine. Fifty-six forty-four. Ah, oh, come on, fine. All right. Well, whatever. At least he stores the data. This is also a co common Metal Gear troop. You know, calling somebody. Calling right, so, what do you want? More number. info? Yeah. That's but. right. Pass her out of the way. So the revolution has ended. Yeah, is ended. It is ended. Yeah, is ended. So is space ended? Yay! Alright, you seem pretty real to me. Meet me at the Alton Plaza in the EXG district. I'll see you there. Cool beans. Now what are you going to do? So we're going to retreat out and... Go see Napoleon. Hey, get out of here. Right, so How's the investigation going? Okay, uh, move. Enter turbo cycle. Turbo cycle, yep. I have to check a few things. Got a couple of leads. Don't wear yourself over Jean, okay? Thanks, Mika. Feeling? Yes. How are you and your wife doing? <laughs> I haven't talked to her in a while. Not even on the video phone? No. You shouldn't leave her alone like that. Yeah, come to think of it, I have her number written down at home. So there's a hint for going to our house. Yeah. So I bet she's pretty lonely. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. Thanks. Be careful. That, that was also a slight hint to tell us to buzz off, too, I'm sure. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> We've boarded the turbo circle. Where would you like to go? So, try go go home. Go home. Okay. All right. Now heading to your apartment. It says it's optional, but it's it's a thing to do. You know. Sure. Like it's more flavor. For something more bland, actually. Yeah. We've arrived at your apartment. Exit. <laughs> This is your apartment building. Here we go. I have a place to live, too. <laughs> Tone it down, Gillian. I know you have <laughs> lost your memory, but aren't you carrying the act a little too far? Just trying, trying to make things a little more fun for the folks playing the game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nani! Alright, so move. Go on in. No, we went into the turbo cycle. I didn't want to go there. Exit turbo cycle. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, I have a place to live, too? <laughs> Don't even tell me. Good. Alright, <laughs> right, go inside. That's kind of cool. I like that. I like how it fades in and out. Nice dissolve. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> For a widower, the room seems rather tidy. I'm quite I'm impressed. Hey, Don't you ever shut up? Are you programmed to evaluate my personal life, too? My duty is to support you to observe that you are properly carrying out your responsibilities as a junker. Hey, you mean a former, right? Well, one could put it that way. Alright, so investigate the house. <laughs> no interest in women. <laughs> most That's unfortunate. Most fortunate. You shut up! I can't <laughs> believe I hear this from a robot. <laughs> I love this flavor banter. Yeah. Downright dull. <laughs> of course it is! My apartment, lead a dreary life. 
Yeah, this well, game is not dry. Like, they, they have some humorous moments. Yeah, then move around. Shelf. Yeah, look at the shelf. Some photograph on the shelf. Special picture for me. Look. Yeah, photo. Picture. Uh, just Jamie. the Olympics. Oh, we spelled Jamie by wrong, by the way. Oh, that's what it was. Back in the picture. Look at the picture. Oh, investigate. Yeah. I hate that looking. Oh, wow. Yeah, it looks like a little girl. She's very young in this. Okay. Some numbers are. 39, 3, 4, 4, 4. Give her a call. Yeah, why not? Thirty-nine, three, four, four, four. Here it goes. Hot. Oh, is that you, Gillian? I was just getting to sleep. Hang up. <laughs> oh well, I guess you better go to sleep then. See like the the choices like ask out on a date. Yeah. I mean that's your wife, so I guess it's okay this time. Yeah. <laughs> your feelings. I'm not sure how to say this, but I really want to make up with you. I want to try again. Please don't say that. Right now the two of us are better off apart. I'm sure of it. This is minutes after hitting on Mika. Yeah. Right. Your job. Yeah. It looks like this junker business is more dangerous than I thought it would be. Hey, Gillian, we're still not as bad as boot camp. A lot more relaxed working like this as a junker. Really? Are you pushing yourself too hard? Well, it's pretty scary sometimes, but now I got a definite goal, something to live for. I was really surprised when I heard you became a junker. Yeah, sorry, it was really hard for me to try to tell you. It's alright. Besides, we live near each other, we can meet anytime. Call me if anything comes up, okay? Alright. Skype. Snatcher. You should probably stay indoors at night. That's when snatchers are most active. It's dangerous. Yeah, I'll be fine. Why do they ever go after me? They only want VIPs, right? Alright. Oh boy. How are you doing? <laughs> Getting by alright? How about you? Eating properly? Wow. Yep. Mr. Great Paschetti, though. <laughs> Paschetti? Oh, that's cute. You still call it that? I wonder what that was in Japanese. Yeah, right. How's your job going? You still working at Kobe Pharmaceuticals? Yup, really suits me. I feel like I've been doing this for years. Love this small talk. Yeah. Any sunny memory maybe coming back? Nope. Can't remember anything about living with you or having fun. What about you? Same. Can't remember anything from before I woke up in that bed in the army hospital. Anything funny happened to you lately? If I was a snatcher, could you kill me? Jeez. Why ask me questions like that? Well, I don't know. <laughs> That's rough. I've always liked that part of your personality, but be careful. It could get you killed in that job you're doing. Jeez. What kind of dreams have you had lately? Still seeing that same one? Maybe this is harkening back to the dream report. Maybe. Yeah, same one. That one, huh? Yep, carrying a child and running from a fire. No matter how much I run, the fire doesn't get any farther away. Then what? It's it hotter until I can't stand it. Then I leave the child and run. Brutal. Wow. You leave the child? The flames grow brighter and grow and grow. What about the kid? The child is as cold as ice. Wow. Why don't you record that thing for me with your dream quarter? Why? I want to see the same dream as you? No, I hate that dream. I wouldn't want anyone else to see it. But it might have something to do with our past. Ugh. 